meet the psychopathology assistant because mental health matters. The psychopathology assistant is an intelligent assistant platform to track psychopathology patient responses during face-to-face -face and remote session. This platform makes use of AI to perform facial emotion recognition tasks in order to track patient treatments. About the motivation, there are a lot of mental issues like anxiety disorders, mood disorders, schizophrenia, and a lot of others that affect a lot of people around the world. Over 50% of all the people who die by suicide suffer from a major depression, which is a particular case of a mental issue. Most of these disorders are treated primarily through medications and psychotherapy. And as you may have had, I have had depression. And now I can only ask to myself, what are we doing to change this? I make use of the TensorFlow environment to train a custom model using the Keras module. Using GPUs for the training, saving the model, I using TensorFlow Lite for the deployment on a Raspberry Pi. The custom model train is one found on the state of the art of facial emotion recognition tasks. This model makes use of residuality, which preserves the data information through convolutional layers. About the data set to train the model, I use the public data sets from FACES, the one published in the Challenges in Representation Learning, a report on three machine learning contests. As he mentioned, the model was trained using GPUs on Google Colab, and it performed nice results in classification tasks for the emotions. The web platform serves as the user interface for, for the medical staff to interact with patients using the AI solution. It was built completely on top of Python using Flask, Dash along with Dash Bootstrap components and the connection to Firebase for the real-time data serving. The platform consists of a login screen for the medical staff so they can access to their patient's medical records and for each patient, each patient has a real-time AI-based dashboard which serves the AI results of the model deployed in the Raspberry Pi. About the deployment, after the model was trained and saved, it was quantized to optimize the size. So it was served using TensorFlow Lite on the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is connected to a USB PS3 Move camera, in this case, and it makes use of a real-time connection to Firebase so it can serve the real-time database to the AI dashboard. Now let's see it in action. Okay, so this is my Raspberry Pi setup. I already have a Wi-Fi conne uh, connected uh, Raspberry Pi uh, and it already has the USB PS3 Move camera connected to it. So it will be transmitting the data to the web platform. As you are, as you can see here, you can have the login view then you, when you log in with your credentials, you're able to see your corresponding records of, of your patients and each patient has a corresponding dashboard with the real time uh, plot. So right now, well, the, the camera is not detecting a face, but I will try to be consistent and show you what uh, the Raspberry Pi is, is looking at and what my computer would be looking at. So you can see what the model should be and you will see how the, the model will be sending the data in real time. So let me put my cell phone a bit down and there it goes. Let me just, okay, there it is. I'll try to make a surprised face. No, a happy face. And this is the real-time demo. If you like it, clone it and start contributing. And thanks for watching.